I'm Jason Bayer. Hey, I'm Di Montero. Hey, Eva Pacifico. I'm Tom Finlay. John Satrincha. I'm Andy Baxter. And you're watching DJSounds.com. <laughs> Well, now that the super clubs have officially closed their doors for yet another season here in Ibiza, there are still some of the island's gems yet to close theirs. And when is a better time to do it than here in this stunning autumn weather? We popped along to Cafe Mambo, Comares and Damante, where islanders and workers alike were absolutely letting down their hair. And we all know that some of the best parties are in intimate locations where you're hanging out with your friends. Manny Baxter and we're with DJSounds.com and this is the official closing party of Cafe Mumbo 2013. Uh, magic moments for me at Cafe Mumbo this year. Um, I can't put my finger on, on one because there has been so many and uh, it's a pleasure to come to work every single day. Uh, yeah, I was definitely inspired by coming down my first year and listening to people like Pete Gooding who was like a Balearic master and he taught me how to go really across the board through all different styles which capture different moods of the day, the weather, the time, the atmosphere. And I learned a lot from guys like him and Alfredo when they were playing their sunsets at various places. People like Lenny Bazaar at Kumaris. And that was my that was my learning ground. Jason Bayer. A magical moment for me in Mambo this year would have to be um, maybe the opium party was really cool um, and um, just any time I come and play Sunset really it's always pretty um, special. <laughs> Mambo is special for me because of the history, the 20 year history of Mambo. Uh, I first came here in 1998 and uh, First time I heard Stardust, music sounds better for you. And since then, I've just loved the place and the vibe, and obviously the sunsets and pee parties. Yeah, it's priceless, really. So. Cafe Mambo is really special to me because I remember when it was built and it's become an institution. Everyone wants to either play here or be here, whether it's for a sunset or an amazing night out. It's just got a great family and it's been going for years and years. Hello, I'm Eva Pacifico. We are now here at Kumaras closing. Yeah, Kumaras is uh, different in many ways. It's uh, more familiar, the atmosphere, we, we, there's a lot of residents coming. It's not uh, so pumped up, it's more this uh, relaxed, uh, chill with feeling, with uh, cocktails and we have very good restaurants run by Italians, so people come here to have a rest uh, between all the parties, but still uh, with a um, very good uh, musical background. <laughs> I'm John Sprincher. Uh, Mamante is uh, fantastic because it's an outdoor party and it's the last party. This party is the last party of the season, almost. Uh, this year, Mamante, some of the best moments was, uh, well, many. Uh, the opening party, this is the closing party. And um, also in June and July, I was doing the full moon parties, uh, which is not quite as busy as this, but it's an atmosphere. I think it'd be a bit special because they always had a certain amount of um, open air parties. Outdoor parties for me are um, a kind of serenity, a surreal surreality, 
and absolute bliss. I'm Tom Finlay and I'm half a group of Marta. Amante is kind of amazing because it's sort of, uh, it's sort of like, you know, it's the best bit of Ibiza really, you know, like, I mean, I love the clubs and stuff, but there's something kind of, so Belair, we're here, we're kind of, um, as I look that way, I'm looking out to the sea, uh, it sort of makes sense, it's sort of the best bits of Ibiza they do here, lovely sort of people, great crowd, it's sort of, I think when kind of people try to find that kind of Ibiza experience, it's kind of here that you get the real ultimate moment. Uh, outdoor parties are uh, a sort of, uh, God, in three words, they're, uh, uh, they're warm and, uh, and open and lovely.